Hi, Stacy from Paint Scout here, and today we're going to chat about how you can customize the estimate section in your account settings. To get started, let's head over to your person icon on the far right and select the account settings option, followed by the estimate section on the left hand menu bar. Now, before we make any adjustments here, it is important to remember that any changes we make in this section will only impact new estimates created. It will not update previous or existing estimates already in your account. So the first section you have here is for your hourly rate. This will be the rate that you want to charge your customer per hour. Now you can also adjust this on an individual estimate basis, as well as on templates and per estimate type. If you did want to charge a different rate for interior versus exterior work, for example. Down below, you'll see your tax rate section. If you don't charge tax in your area, you can simply leave both of these boxes blank, or you can enter in the tax percentage and description. If you have a couple of uh, tax rates that you'd like to charge, simply press the add another tax rate button and enter in those details and use this default checkbox to choose the one that you would like to have by default. And then you'll be able to select from any of these tax rates on each estimate. Now we also see contractors use this um, for other percentage fees, such as garbage disposal, proposals or credit card processing fees. That's going to be followed by the discount section. Uh, when we have a discount applied here, it will apply to every new estimate that's created. So if that's not something that you would like to happen, you can just make sure each of these boxes is blank and then you can instead add the discount on an individual estimate basis. Next, we have our rounding style for both hours, products, and pricing. Your PaintScout account will come preloaded with our recommendations for rounding. However, you can adjust that based on your personal preference. When it comes to hours, this is going to adjust the hours that are rounded on the estimate. You can choose either not to round at all or go to the quarter, half, or full hour. For products and materials, this isn't going to happen on the estimate. Instead, you're going to see the full product and materials rounded on the work order. And we do have another video and article about that if you'd like to learn a little bit more. And for pricing, you can have it set to no rounding if you want to have the exact price shown, or if you want to get rid of those dollars and cents, you can choose either nearest dollar or always round upwards. And then finally, on this screen, we have the client visible expiry. So if you would like your estimate to expire after a certain period of time, we'll toggle this option on and you can set the time period. Now, if the customer goes to view the estimate after the time period that's specified, they'll simply be met with a message letting them know to get in touch with their estimator. And this allows you a grace period to update your pricing if there's been any changes to labor or material in that time. Next, let's scroll up and move to the estimate type section on the left-hand menu bar. You can see estimate types as the highest level of categorization in Paint Scout, and you can use it to organize all of your production rates, products, line items, terms, and presentations. You can also use it to easily filter for search and reporting purposes as well. To create a new estimate type, you'll simply select add new estimate type and name it as you'd like it. If you'd like to set a separate hourly rate for this type, this is where you can do so. If this is left blank, we'll just use the general hourly rate that we set in the last section. For default area type, this is going to determine whether the areas that you're creating on the estimate are going to be by default either a room or a surface. So a room is great for interior projects because it's going to use all four walls to calculate the production rate, whereas a surface is great for exterior projects where we're maybe just going to be looking at the front side or the left side of the house at a time. Next, you can also set a default presentation. This will ensure that each time this estimate type is used to create a new estimate, you already have your preferred presentation attached. So let's use the commercial presentation for this. And then same with the terms. Each time you use this estimate type, we'll have the default set of terms attached for you already. So once you're happy with that, you can press confirm. 
You'll also notice that there's already an all types estimate type. You're going to want to keep this active as this is going to allow you to create estimates that have both interior, exterior, and cabinets or production rates from a variety of estimate types all in one. If you'd like to deactivate an estimate type or make it not available for selection, you'll simply toggle off the active toggle at the top here and you won't be able to use it to create new estimates. Once you press confirm on that change, you can see that the deactivated estimate type is indicated by the red dot on the far right corner of that block. Let's move on to the disclaimer section by clicking disclaimers from our left hand menu bar. All estimates do require an electronic signature in PaintScout upon acceptance. The disclaimer is the language that's going to show beneath that signature box for your client, both when they're accepting the initial estimate and when accepting additional work. Now, you can choose to provide the option to your client to also decline their estimate. It will prompt them for a signature as well, and this is the language that will show beneath that signature box. Your PaintScout account will come preloaded with some default disclaimers, but feel free to pop into this section and customize them to your preference. Next, let's check out the estimate templates by selecting templates from the menu sidebar on the left. Now, templates are pre-crafted estimates that you can use to kind of speed up the process of building estimates on site. They're also a really great way to ensure that you're offering a consistent format for your estimates across your team. You'll have a couple defaults already loaded into your account, but to create your own new estimate template, simply click the add new estimate template box and select a name for the template followed by choosing the estimate type it's going to be associated with. You'll be populated into a blank slate estimate that you can build out with a few line items and areas for you to work off of. Mm -hmm. Once you save that change in, this template will be available for selection the next time you go to create a new estimate. Finally, in this section, we have estimate tags. Now, these were designed to help you efficiently organize and categorize your estimates. So you can create custom tags here by selecting add new tag, entering in the label, let's say final follow-up needed. And then you can select along this slider, the color that you would like to use. So let's go with red. You can see a little preview of what that tag is going to look like when it is added to the actual estimate. So we'll seal that in by pressing the done button and we'll see that tag has been added here. If you do not see tags available in your account just yet, feel free to reach out to our support team at support at and we can get those added for you.